start uh, for those that can understand uh, English or speak English, um, because I'm sorry, I apologize for my French being very poor. Um, I'd like to thank, first of all, Chateau de Chillon for allowing this opportunity to make a historical experiment, something that's never been done. I, I don't know that anybody ever escaped from this dungeon um, or escaped from the restraints in this dungeon, so we're making a little bit of history here today. But I appreciate Chateau de Chillon showing enough faith and curiosity to allow us to attempt this. So I wanted to say that first and foremost. What you see on the floor here in front of you is a variety of authentic 15th and 16th century medieval restraints and a few instruments of torture. This post in the dungeon I will be locked to using the variety of restraints that we have here. I will not have any keys. I'm wearing pretty much one of these loose shirts like they would have back in the day. And these leg chains will be put on with iron and stone balls. Wrist screws, torture wrist screws, torture thumb screws, chain around my neck with another huge iron ball, which will be extremely uncomfortable, and then more wrist irons up my arms, and then those will be locked to the shackles going to the collar on the post. Using only, here's the three ingredients I'm going to use to try and escape. Pain control, contortion, and also, you see a wooden ball, uh, bowl there, on the floor with a wooden spoon in it. This is an object that a prisoner kept in a dungeon would have had to eat their porridge with or something that they would be given to eat when they were given food to eat. I'm going to attempt to use that if I can use the pain control to get out of the torture items and free my hands, use that spoon to unlock locks. Now that, that's really rather strange because some of these locks have iron keys that are this long and they're more complex than the handle of a spoon. So what you're seeing here is a bit of science, a lot of stubbornness, and a unique experiment. Thank you for coming. Thank you.